Or sailing is a Twelfth Night tradition with pagan roots. It's easy to forget how different Christmas was in times gone by. Advent, a period of fasting, was observed from the 1st to the 24th of December, and then Christmas would last 12 days with feasting and merrymaking until the 5th of January, known as Twelfth Night, where was sailing marked the last of the celebrations on the eve of Epiphany. The more traditional amongst us still insist on celebrating on Old Twelvey, which is the 17th of January, which was the correct date before the introduction of the Gregorian calendar in 1752, which messed things up a bit. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the word wassail comes from an old Anglo-Saxon New Year's salutation, ways hail, meaning to be in good health or to be fortunate. And the response was drink hail, meaning drink and be healthy. It was initially used in the sense of hail or farewell, but it later developed into the first part of the drinking formula, was sail, drink hail. By the 13th century, this word now meant the drink itself, referring to the spiced ale often used in Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve and Twelfth Night celebrations, with only the richest people managing to wassail all 12 nights of Christmas. By 1598, the term of sale was used to describe the custom of drinking to health on those particular nights. Wassailing generally falls into two distinct categories, the house visiting wassail and the orchard visiting wassail. The house visiting wassail involved merrymakers going door to door singing and offering a drink from a wassail bowl in exchange for gifts. On the whole, the orchard visiting wassail is better known and the house visiting wassail has largely been replaced by caroling. The ancient orchard visiting wassailing custom comes from the cider producing regions of England where apple and pear orchards were popular. These would be Herefordshire and Somerset and to a lesser extent Cornwall, Sussex, Gloucestershire, Worcestershire and Kent. It is an old pagan ritual conducted in deep midwinter. A noisy procession would make its way through the orchard before the loud banishing of spirits by making a hullabaloo, often by the banging of pots and pans, incantations and singing of songs. It is designed to ward off evil spirits from the orchards whilst pleasing the spirits of the fruit trees which were woken up and blessed. The spirits of the trees were encouraged, usually with a good glug of cider at the root, to provide a good harvest later on in the year. It was also commonplace to place toast, which has been soaked in ale or cider, into the branches of the trees to feed and thank them for their fruit. This is where the term to toast comes from. Depending on the area of the country where you lived, the wassail drink would vary, but traditionally it was made out of mulled ale or wine, curdled cream, roasted apples, eggs, cloves, ginger, nutmeg and sugar, or a variation thereof. It was sometimes referred to as lamb's wool due to its appearance, as the froth created by the apples on top would look like wool. These days, spiced cider or apple juice is shared alongside more traditional wassail recipes by revellers. Wassail was traditionally served in huge cups known as wassail bowls, which were often made from pewter or silver. In the second quarter of the 17th century, wassail bowls and cups were often made from lignum vitae, a tree whose name means tree of life, which hails from the Caribbean. This wood was chosen precisely because of its toughness and ability to hold hot liquid. The finest example of a wassailing bowl is probably the one in Jesus College, Oxford University, which can hold up to 10 gallons of wassail. The two best known wassailing songs are the Wassailer's Carol and the Gloucestershire Wassail Song, and both are central to the English folk tradition.